Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to enable Hyper-V. Hyper-V already comes uh, pre-installed with uh, Windows, um, Windows 10 Professional and I believe also Windows 11 Professional. So the only thing that we have to do is to head over to, uh, let's click on the Start menu and uh, type Control and press Enter. Here I'm going to click on Programs and Features. And I'm going to click on Turn Windows Features On and Off. Here I want to scroll down and when it says Hyper-V, I want to enable that and go ahead and click OK. I have already went ahead and enabled it, so I'm not going to go over the process again, but let it finish. Click OK and uh, you might probably want to, once it's finished, you might need to restart the computer. So I'm going to go ahead, click Cancel and close the control panel. The second thing that we need to do, we need to head over to Microsoft. Actually, I'm going to open the browser and I'm going to type Windows Server 2022 ISO download. I'm going to press enter. If I scroll down, um, I want to head over to the Microsoft website where it says Windows Server 2022 a Microsoft Evaluation Center, so I want to click on that. And here, um, I want to go over to Get Started for Free, and I'm going to click on Download the ISO image. So I'm going to click on that one. You're probably going to have to enter some personal information like your first name, last name, um, your, uh, per your email, the name of your company, and once you enter that information, go ahead and click download now. Once it finished downloading, let's go ahead and open Hyper-V. And here on the right hand side, notice that we have some actions, uh, links. And so we want to click on new in order to create a new virtual machine. And let's go ahead and click virtual machine. This is going to launch the new virtual machine setup. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Here I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to name mine Windows Server 2022. And since I already have one created, which is this one here, I'm going to name it 2022 one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Uh, choose the, the generation of this virtual machine. Let's go ahead and click on generation two. And let's go ahead and click next. For the physical memory, I'm going to type 4000, 4096. That's four gigabytes of memory. I'm going to I'm going to leave it as use dynamic memory, and I'm going to go ahead and click next. For the um, for the connection, we're going to set it to default switch. We're going to change this one later on, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Um, for the uh, create a virtual hard disk, I'm going to leave it as default. And here, uh, the minimal requirement for installing for installing um, Windows Server 2022 is 32 gigs. So I'm going to set it to 62 gigs. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And I'm going to choose to install an operating system later. So I'm going to leave it default, click next, and finally click finish. All right, so once um, you finish creating the virtual machine, I'm going to right click on the virtual machine and then I'm going to go to settings. Here in settings, um, I'm going to uh, click on. Hmm. Notice that we don't have a DVD. Um, we don't have a DVD drive in our uh, virtual machine, so I'm going to go ahead and, and add one. So I'm going to go over to a SCSI controller, and then I'm going to click on DVD drive, and then I'm going to go ahead and click add. All right. So next, from my DVD drive, I want to I want to click on image file, and then I'm going to uh, click on browse. And I'm going to browse to the location where I have my Windows Server ISO image. I'm going to click on it, click open, and finally click apply and OK.
double click on Windows Server um, virtual machine and click start okay so press any key when prompted um, you might you might need to react pretty fast so I'm going to click on action reset and this is going to boot from the ISO image the installation process is pretty straightforward uh, so here on the first screen uh, we need to select the language uh, options I'm going to leave a default and I'm going to click next and next I'm going to go ahead and click install now next we need to select what type of Windows Server installation we want to do uh, notice that we have four options here the first one is a standard evaluation the second one is a standard evaluation with uh, desktop experience uh, data center and data center desktop experience we need to we want to select the second one since this option is going to provide a desktop environment so i'm going to go ahead and click next and next i'm going to accept the license agreement click on the checkbox click next click next and here I want to select the second option since this it will be a clean installation here I'm going to um, partition my hard drive so I'm going to click on new I'm going to select the defaults I want to use the uh, full hard drive and click apply click OK once the hard drive has been partitioned I'm going to make sure I select the uh, the biggest uh, partition this is where we're going to install the operating system and then I'm going to click next at this point the installation process is copying the files from the ISO image to the hard drive and then it's going to proceed with the installation of the operating system okay so once the installation restart the system uh, go ahead and enter the password for the administrator account Make sure you, you make sure you don't forget this password. So I'm going to enter mine and repeat the password. Go ahead and click next, and go ahead and click finish. And this is going to complete the installation um, process. So next, let's go ahead and notice that you might get this uh, dialog box. This is basically prompting you to connect to Windows Server 2022 this is uh, only allow if you enable enhance mode so for the, for now I'm going to go ahead and close right here and I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to click on Control alt delete and this is going to send this keyboard combination to the Hyper-V virtual machine okay so next I'm going to enter my password and press enter okay and this completes the installation